what's up guys, Alex Chris Martin here and today we're gonna be talking about a little talk that I see online all the time and that is gonna be Instagram fit chicks and their butts. So let's get right into it, just kidding. We're gonna be talking about magic exercises but the reason I mentioned the Instagram fit chicks and their butts is because a lot of the times you'll see them doing these like crazy different exercises that like they claim is like the most ultimate way to grow their booty and this is the only exercise they did to grow their butt when in reality they probably did heavy compound deads lunges, squats, different variations like that, hip thrusts, and they give so much credit to this magic exercise because it's something they can market and it's something special that they can bring to you. And these aren't the only people that are super guilty of this. A lot of the times you'll see a lot of personal trainers doing things like, or like football coaches doing things like uh, like burpees, like claiming that burpees are gonna build you this explosive power and strength as if a bodyweight exercise can build you a massive amount of strength. But the reason I really wanna talk about this is because it's the common misconception that these are the only exercises that you have to do to grow a certain body part. For example, I'm gonna finish the workout on a close grip, neutral tricep push down. Just a little variation I've been playing with, it's for fun. It's not where I'm going to get the most of my arm growth. It's not going to give me any kind of special benefit because I'm grabbing it in a weird way or I'm pressing in a weird way. It's because I just want a little bit of variation. Where the majority of my muscle growth is gonna come from is heavy pressing, heavy, heavy pulling, heavy squatting, heavy, heavy deadlifting. The only reason you should ever really do them is for the sake of variety or to finish a workout with a mind-muscle connection or maybe even like halfway through a workout with a mind-muscle connection. But at the end of the day, if you're trying to build muscle mass or you're trying to build and maintain a lean physique, your exercises need to revolve around heavy compound lifting. Some of my favorite examples of the magic exercises are gonna be the uh, the hip abduction machine where you see the fit chicks are like up and on it. Like they're like, like supporting their, but they're sitting into a squat, but then they're pressing apart and it like looks really awkward and uncomfortable and just kind of a way for people to flop their butts. Um, and they'll be like, but you can really feel it this way. This is a great, uh. and Maybe there's truth to that, maybe there's validation to that, but if you wanna build a booty, squat, deadlift, hip thrust, lunge, promise you it's gonna do worlds, worlds more than that. The only reason that should be in part of your routine is if you've already done a couple of the compound lifts just stated and you're just trying to finish the muscle group off, you're really trying to isolate it. Another example, when you see people doing pretty much any exercise on a BOSU ball. The reason you incorporate a BOSU ball is for stability muscles. A lot of the times it's used in a physical therapy setting. It shouldn't really be used in a muscular hypertrophy setting. There's really no data, anything bagging that up. A lot of the times you'll see guys put a heavy ass barbell on their back and try to squat on a BOSU ball. And that is an injury waiting to happen. If you're really worried about balance and stability, do that extra, do body weight exercises on there or something like that alone, or do some single leg exercises that are heavy and are gonna build you some muscle, that'll give you more bang for your buck. So like a single leg squat or a Bulgarian split squat or something of that nature. Doing a compound lift on a BOSU ball really just increases your risk of injury. And there's really no point in doing that. Another one of my favorites is gonna be half reps, partial reps, things like that. Things where people say it's gonna confuse the muscle or it pretty much <laughs> anytime you hear someone say confuse the muscle, they either A, don't know what they're talking about, B, are full of shit, or C, they don't know what they're talking about. Your muscle does not have a mind of its own. Your muscle knows to stretch and contract. So it knows the loading pattern, it knows the motion, but if I take a curl from a full range of motion to just a partial range of motion, I'm, I'm just trying to find some kind of pump or some reason that I'm smarter than you in the gym. I don't really have any science or knowledge to back that up. I think it's pretty, I think it's a pretty dumb trick. A lot, most of the time you'll see people do it with curls. Maybe it's fun for a pump, maybe it's a good way to finish a workout, but again, it should not be your main source of growth or your main source of volume, hypertrophy, stuff like that. It can be just a little fun addition to finish off with. But anyways guys, that's my thought on magic exercises. Really just kind of bullshit. Stick to your basics, progress on your basics, continuously load your basics. Hypertrophy comes from progressive overload. We know that there's no reason to create these magic fancy exercises unless you're just trying to have some fun or you're trying to burn out a muscle group, but it should not be your meat and potatoes. It's like your your little Halo Top ice cream dessert. Anyways, guys, I'm Alex Chris Martin. I'm gonna see you in the gym. This is a good angle. Hey guys, I got a magic exercise for you. It's called like and subscribe to put on an instant 20 pounds of muscle mass. <laughs>